the Cybertruck should have an amazing amount of towing power. And Tesla's website still cites a max towing capability of over 14,000 pounds. Of course, this number may be adjusted once Tesla actually brings out the production model specifications. But with what we know so far, I want to examine the true practicality of towing with the Cybertruck. Will the Cybertruck have enough range to make towing practical? And how will it compare to gas and diesel trucks? I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Before I jump in, I do wanna once again say a special thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. A special thank you to my ultimate supporter, Rebellionaire.com, and also my performance supporters, Jason Bishop, Cookie UK, Todd Morgan, Gort, Daniel D, and Edward Tam. Also, thank you to the other supporters listed on this screen. Back in November of 2019, Elon Musk posted on Twitter a video showing the Cybertruck easily pulling a Ford F-150 uphill while the um, F-150 wheels were spinning the opposite way. While this is not a completely fair test due to the Cybertruck's heavier weight, which gives it better traction, it was an amusing way to demonstrate just how impressive the Cybertruck's towing power will be. However, beyond power and torque, what about towing range? Will the Tesla Cybertruck have enough range to actually replace a gas or diesel truck, or will it simply be impractical for longer towing trips? Well, to answer that question, we need to dive into the topic of towing efficiency. And within that topic, I do want to point out that it matters what kind of trailer that you're pulling when it comes to efficiency, not only the weight that's on that trailer, but also the type of trailer. For example, a flatbed trailer generally has less wind drag than a box trailer. So a box trailer has a greater negative effect on the efficiency while towing. This is a topic that I'm going to talk about further later on in the video. Um, but when it comes to the Cybertruck's initial EPA range, um, the single motor variant will likely never exist. The tri-motor version will likely be delayed for a while. And according to this post from at Bearded Tesla on X.com, it looks like Tesla will be bringing out a dual motor 350 mile range version of the truck initially. While 350 miles of range is enough for everyday driving. When it comes to towing heavy loads, your efficiency in any vehicle and an electric vehicle, of course, as well, is drastically affected and you get much less real world range available to you while towing. Now, to be clear, all trucks, whether it's an electric truck, a gas burning truck or a diesel truck, they all lose efficiency while towing. And once again, that's affected by the type of trailer and, of course, the amount of weight being hauled. When it comes to how towing a box trailer affects the fuel efficiency of some popular gas burning eight cylinder trucks, I pulled up data from fueleconomy.gov for a Ford F-150, a Ram 1500, and a Chevy Silverado, some of the most popular trucks here in America. While these trucks may get 17 to 18 miles per gallon um, while not towing, when it comes to towing, these numbers will go down quite a bit. Now, in order to get a good example of how much efficiency is affected in a truck while towing a box trailer, I want to reference a video that was published on the Fastlane Truck YouTube channel a few years ago. And in this particular video, they tested an F-150 V8 towing um, a box trailer with approximately 9,000 pounds. And that vehicle averaged around 8.4 miles per gallon in their test. That test was performed back in 2019. And at that time, um, that truck got an efficiency of around 18 miles per gallon while not towing. So 8.4 miles per gallon while towing represents a little bit over a 53% mile per gallon loss. If we assume that all three of these trucks lose a little bit over 53% of their mile per gallon efficiency while towing a box trailer um, loaded to around 9,000 pounds or so, you can see there that I've put the amount of range that would be available while towing, depending on how you configure your truck. Later on, I am going to talk about the towing efficiency of a diesel truck and compare that um, here to this data as well. Um, but before I talk about a diesel truck, I want to talk a little bit about electric vehicles and efficiency loss while towing. 
Now the Cybertruck is not available yet, so we don't have the exact efficiency data while towing for that vehicle. However, the Rivian R1T and the Ford F-150 Lightning are available and Edmunds has tested the efficiency of these trucks when it comes to towing. I'll link to this Edmunds reference video down below so you can check it out. But the Edmunds testers took a little bit over a 200 mile drive in Southern California, which included a drive over the grapevine, and they drove a Rivian R1T, a quad motor all wheel drive version, and an F-150 Lightning, a Lariat extended range dual motor version. And in their test, which involved towing a box trailer that was loaded up to 7,420 pounds, the F-150 Lightning averaged an efficiency while towing of around one mile per kilowatt hour, and the Rivian R1T averaged around 0.9 miles per kilowatt hour. When you compare this to data from fueleconomy.gov, that means the Ford F-150 Lightning lost around 52% of its efficiency while towing, and the Rivian R1T around 57%. Now comparing this efficiency loss to gas burning trucks, once again, to be fair, the example that I gave with that TFL truck, a YouTube video, that was while towing 9,000 pounds. This test from Edmunds was just a little bit over 7,400 pounds. So that does affect it a little bit, but in general, um, the loss of around 53 plus percent for the Ford F-150 versus um, somewhere between 52 to 57 percent for the Rivian or the Ford F-150 Lightning, the efficiency losses apparently are not drastically different between a gas burning eight cylinder truck and an electric truck. Interestingly, in the Edmunds video comparing the towing efficiency of the Rivian R1T to the F-150 Lightning, one of the testers referenced a previous test of the F-150 Lightning pulling a flatbed trailer, and in that previous test, the F-150 Lightning averaged around 1.5 miles per kilowatt hour, towing a little less weight, around 6,975 pounds, once again on a flatbed trailer. But the extra half mile per kilowatt difference there is quite substantial when it comes to the overall towing range. And that helps illustrate once again the difference between a box trailer and a flatbed trailer when it comes to efficiency, once again, due to the extra wind drag with a box trailer. Okay, going back to the Cybertruck, if the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Rivian R1T lose over 50% of their range while towing, I believe it's safe to assume that while towing a box trailer loaded up with approximately 7,500 pounds or so, that the Cybertruck will also lose around 50% of its range. Now, once again, it appears like Tesla will initially only offer a 350 mile range dual motor version of the Cybertruck. And very likely the 500 mile tri-motor version of the Cybertruck will take some time to be released until Tesla is able to increase the energy density of their 4680 battery cells just a bit. So if we assume that the Cybertruck, while towing a box trailer loaded up with 7,400 plus pounds, loses around 50% of its range, that would mean while towing, you would have actually around 175 miles available to you of real world range with a 350 mile range Cybertruck. That number may vary slightly, but I believe that's somewhere in the ballpark of reality. When you put the amount of towing range available side by side with these eight cylinder gas burning trucks, you can see that for the low end, it's not that far off, but when it comes to um, the trucks with the bigger gas tanks, the ones that have more range, there is quite a variance there, especially with a Ford F-150, but nonetheless, a 350 mile range Cybertruck, losing around 50% of its range while towing, still is within the ballpark of these other trucks. However, I do need to bring up the fact that diesel trucks do seem to get better fuel efficiency while towing than gas trucks. For example, in an Edmunds test that was done previously with a flatbed trailer hauling a Model 3, for uh, various trucks, four different trucks, with a total weight of around 6,975 pounds, a 2022 Ram 1500 diesel truck was able to average around 17.6 miles per gallon. When you compare that to the EPA range estimates, that's around a 27% loss in efficiency, which really isn't that much while towing quite a bit of weight there. This Edmunds test also included a 2021 Ford F-150 hybrid, and that vehicle lost around 37% of its efficiency while towing, and the Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2 lost around 9% of its efficiency while towing. The Ford F-150 Hybrid and the Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2, those are gasoline burning trucks, and you can see 
how the miles per gallon there compared to the diesel truck, the Ram 1500 diesel. And this test also included a Ford F-150 Lightning. And for that same test, the truck averaged around 1.5 miles per kilowatt hour. And that's a number that I mentioned previously. With this towing efficiency on that right hand column, I've estimated the actual towing range of each one of these trucks. And you can see, especially with uh, the Ram 1500 and the Ford F-150, you have well over 400 miles of towing range available with these trucks. I personally believe in a best case scenario with a Tesla Cybertruck also hauling a Model 3 on a flatbed trailer in a similar test. You'd be very lucky if you got anywhere near half the amount of range of say the Ram 1500 diesel that gets over 450 miles of range according to my estimates while towing a flatbed trailer with just a bit under 7,000 pounds. And you'd probably only get a little over 200 miles of range with a Cybertruck in a similar situation. In addition to the range advantage of the internal combustion engine trucks, when it comes to charging speeds versus fueling speeds, of course, fueling up a gas or diesel truck is much quicker than charging up an electric truck. It really shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to fuel up the average internal combustion engine truck. However, when it comes to an electric truck, it takes quite a bit more than 10 minutes to add a meaningful amount of range. For example, the Cybertruck dual motor variant will likely have around a 120 plus kilowatt hour battery pack. And based on the charging performance of the standard range all wheel drive Model Y that has 4680 batteries, I believe it'll take approximately 45 minutes to charge the Cybertruck from a 10% to 80% state of charge. So if my estimates are correct there and it takes around 45 minutes to go from a 10% to 80% state of charge with a 350 mile range Cybertruck, that would be around 5.44 miles being added per minute of charging. However, if your efficiency is cut in half while towing, the miles added per minute of charging for towing range will likely drop somewhere below three miles being added per minute of charging. Now I do hope that Tesla has some tricks up their sleeve and they figured out how to get better efficiency while towing. Because for example, the Tesla engineers have been able to do some amazing things when it comes to the Tesla Semi. As was explained at the Tesla Semi truck Pepsi delivery event last December, while cruising on the highway, only one of the Tesla Semi's three motors is actually active, which drastically increases the efficiency of the truck. And when more torque is needed, the other two motors simply engage. Maybe Tesla will be able to do something similar with the Cybertruck, even with a dual motor version, where only one motor is active while cruising on the highway, for example. But nonetheless, the truth remains that traditional internal combustion engine trucks, at least for now, they do have an advantage over electric trucks when it comes to a long range towing and the practicality of that. Once again, not only the range available, but also when it comes to the speed of fueling versus charging. I do believe that this advantage is temporary because battery technology is getting better and better and I believe charging speeds will get faster and faster with time and I believe in the not too distant future electric trucks will reach parity with gas and diesel trucks when it comes to the practicality of long range towing. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to say once again thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.